talk about questioning the text and why that's so important. So have you ever had a student where they go across the text like this? And then you say, hey, what was going on in the text? And they have no clue. All right, all of us have had that and experienced that. So this is what you can do to boost their comprehension, their understanding. Good readers, active readers have a voice in their head. That voice in their head will ask questions. They might make comments about the text. They might have responses to the text. So you know a student is an active reader when they have that little voice in their head. So how do you promote that little voice in their head? One way is to teach kids how to question the text. So what question the text does is that it provides a before reading strategy for the student. And it also builds that relationship between questions, keywords, and sentences. And that you'll see in the PQA strategy, which is put the question in the answer. So we're doing that in our reading, and then that transfers also in their writing. So the idea also too, is that when you question the text, you're discussing the text, you're debating the text, and that social aspect of reading and then writing is huge. And there's also a substantial body of research that actually what we do when we're developing our reading and writing skills is actually quite social. So we need to build on that and let our teenagers talk to each other. Let our students talk to each other while they're developing those reading and writing skills and developing the inner voice in their head. So that's really, I'm Katie McKnight, and that's how we build better readers, writers, and thinkers. Thank you.